With the recent release of Uncharted, video game movies are back to the cinemas. And it's not a good thing. There's pretty much any of you know, if you follow any type of cinema, you've noticed a pattern that video game movies always suck. Except for maybe one or two, every video game movie that has hit cinemas or streaming service somewhere has been garbage. And mo at least mostly in terms of live action. There and there have been shows that are that have been good. I didn't see Arcane, or I haven't finished it, but it's supposed to be really good. The Witcher's pretty good, so they've gotten good shows. The problem is they can't. Well, sure, they strike gold at the bo with the box office more times than, more often than not, but they're usually trashed by critics and audiences alike. And so I decided to, do, do, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh my god, what is the, whatever. I decided to do a whole video on whether or not video game movies are just doomed to suck overall. Because I've never dedicated a video outside of recent releases, like reviews of recent releases like Mortal Kombat and the aforementioned Uncharted. And one cinematic disaster for Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I haven't really done much focus on video game movies as a whole. And I thought it was high time I changed that, because pretty much everybody is talking about that video game movies suck. But I want to take a look at why. So, you may have noticed that mostly around the time of the late 90s, early 2000s, and beyond, is when we started getting a lot of video game movies. And they were, starting with 1995's Mortal Kombat, that wasn't the first one, but it was the most popular, it was a huge winner at the box office, a lot of people really liked it, and that was kind of the starting point for all these video game adaptations to start coming out, because then it had a sequel two years later, which I already made a whole Cinematic Disasters review on, so you can go watch that. Then there was Doom, um, uh, 2021 Mortal Kombat, Uncharted, Max Payne, Angry Birds, um, Detective Pikachu, Sonic the Hedgehog, the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Angry Birds 2. So yeah, we've gotten a lot, um, the, all the different Tomb Raider movies. We've had three, I'm pretty sure now. Prince of Persia, so Rampage. So we've had a ton of video game movies in the past 20, almost 30 years. But very few of them have been good. To me, the only two that are any semblance of good are Angry Birds 2 and Pokemon Detective Pikachu, which are really good. The rest are just flat out terrible. And and not to mention the Uwe Ball movies with Alone in the Dark, House of the Dead, and just Blood Rain, just the worst video game movies, some of the worst movies ever made. And from one of the worst filmmakers ever ever in Hollywood, so it's not that big of a surprise. But this raises the question, why? Why do these suck? Yet they seem to have quite a bit of success in the television department. There have been a ton of Pokemon shows. There have been, there's been The Witcher. There's been Arcane. There's been a lot of recent video game shows that have been really good. I forgot to mention Super Mario Brothers, which is getting an animated reboot this December, which I'm actually looking forward to. Will it be good? Probably not, but I'm still looking forward to it. But... Again, like I said, why? Well, I can throw the easy one out the way first, is that they ignore the source material. Now, I have been on record stating many times, hang on, why is the heat on? It's hot in here. And now that's gonna be running, hope that doesn't mess with the audio. But I have established that I like it when adaptations change things from the source material so they can make their own story because I don't want to see a carbon copy of the book, or of the game, or of the show. If I wanted to do that, I'd just go read the book, play the game, or watch the show. So I like it when adaptations make changes. But the problem is, unlike a lot of, unlike some young adult adaptations like Maze Runner and Percy Jackson that make changes because they want to do something different, they have a different vision in mind, these ones seem like because they try to play it as safe as possible. And I can't think of a better example than the recent Uncharted. It ignored a lot of the source material. For one, tried to adapt 3 and 4 for whatever reason, and then the very end credits tried to set up the first one. You figure that one out. 
but it ignored a lot of the stuff that made the source material so beloved. Gunplay? Personally non-existent. Drake uses a gun for about 30 seconds and misses every single shot. Um, he, he barely has the costume on. He doesn't even get the holster until about an hour 40 into the movie, in the very last fight. You see all those shots in the trailer with him with the holster? So that's just the final fight. He doesn't even have it in the end credit scene. What the hell? And they, they keep... All the characters are different. They just... And Mortal Kombat is another... Is another victim of this. The characters don't act like the characters. There's an entirely new character named Cole Young that no one gave a shit about. Scorpion was different. Sub Zero was set, was mostly the same, but he still wasn't quite right. Liu Kang was boring as hell. Kano was the only entertaining person in that fucking movie. So, so yeah, those two seem like okay. Yeah, it just ignores the source material, but that, but. You can still make a good movie without it, but you still have to, you know, make a good movie. Something like something else comes to mind is Super Mario Brothers, the god awful nineteen ninety. It's an adaptation. I don't remember what year it came out, but everyone trashed it because and it, it was nothing like the game. And now, how do you adapt a two D, like basically two D platformer? I guess I don't know how else to put it, into a full length motion picture. Well, the correct answer should be you don't, but if you have to, you can make your film... <laughs> Just don't do what Super Mario Brothers did. It ignored all of the lore. It, it, it became way overcomplicated. The designs were completely off. Like, really? Dennis Hopper as Bowser, and it just gave him, like, the weird-looking head. Didn't even make him look like Bowser. Didn't even call him Bowser. Just call him King Koopa. Uh, the Goombas looked like the lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man. They don't look anything like the Goombas. Uh, for two Italian plumbers, they cast a British man and a Latino. What? I actually thought, uh, oh, fuck. Bob Hoskins? I thought he was actually a pretty good Mario. John Leguizamo was a terrible Luigi, but I digress. There was no Princess Peach anywhere. I believe the love interest for Luigi, Luigi, Luigi in that movie was supposed to be Daisy, but whatever. Yoshi was in it for about 18 seconds and was about this big and did nothing. So yeah, that was Super Mario. And then you have just fucking awful movies like House of the Dead, which is supposed to be a prequel to the games and it's just a shit movie on its own. Alone in the Dark. Again, tried to adapt the fourth game. Again, you figure that one out. And was awful. I don't know if it stayed true to the game or not, but I have a hard time believing it did. So, yeah, it's, it seems like ditching the source material is the main problem. No, it's not. The major problem is they're trying to adapt games that are about, at very least, eight hours of play into a sub two hour movie. With a show, you can do whatever you want. You can make it as long as you want. Audiences usually allow movies to be two and a half hours at most, with some exceptions, like Avengers Endgame or the Lord of the Rings movies. The Batman still ain't getting a pass for its three hour runtime, and I'll be seeing that on Friday, so. But two and a half hours at most, the runtime is a huge issue. and. Again, the biggest culprit of this one was Injustice. Now, if any of you saw my Injustice review, you know I got incredibly mad at it because one, because it was an awful movie. There was no hero-on-hero -hero battles, which was, like, the main selling point of the video game. And the comic series, might I add. But it was trying to adapt a story that was six hours at, le at bare minimum. Six hours. And tried to adapt it into about an hour and 18 minutes. The logic. Where is it? The runtime is a huge issue because they're trying to adapt these long-ass games. They're trying to condense them down to about a fourth of the time. And that wouldn't be that big of a deal if they were just to make their own story. And that would be a great idea. Take these characters we know and love, put them in a completely new scenario, and have them go to town. Like, Uncharted... I kind of tried to do this, but they half-assed it, but also throwing in a lot of set pieces from Uncharted 3 and 4, and then doing an end credit scene that kind of tried to set up the first game. 
again, the, that logic is completely backwards, but that should be, but that's like saying, that, yeah, they half-assed it. Super Mario Bros. tried something different, but it sucked. House of the Dead tried being a prequel to the game, which in and of itself wasn't a terrible idea, but it was stuck with shit acting, a horrible direction, freaking awful action sequences, and a director with a grossly inflated ego. That's a recipe, that's a recipe for disaster. But then, you, again, you have ones that are like Alone in the Dark that tried to directly adapt a game. And it didn't work. Then you have... But something that can do this well, something that did do this pretty well, ironically, was the Angry Birds movies. The first movie, I will admit, it's not great. I know a lot of people really don't like Angry Birds, but I thought it was fine. And nothing more. I thought it was fine. But the idea that the... They set up the bird island, and then they have the pigs come and trick them into thinking they're they're helping them, I guess, and then stealing their eggs, and then they use the slingshot to get them back. It's a clever idea. It wasn't executed perfectly, but it was a decent idea. And then Angry Birds 2, again, you just put these characters we know and love from the games and had them go to town, making a completely unique story. And having the birds and pigs team up, I thought was a really clever idea. And it worked out, and that movie was really good. Or something like Detective Pikachu. That doesn't, from what I can tell, that does not adapt the game at all. But honestly, it worked because it was made by people who know how to make a movie. They didn't try to directly adapt a game. They made their own story with this character and these other Pokemon. And they, they made some new human characters around them who are actually likable characters. Unlike something like Transform the first three Transformers, where they made completely unlikable characters and threw them around the Transformers. And you made these likable characters, and you gave us these Pokemon, and again, just created a new story, had them go to town. And it works. That's how these video game movies should work. At least to me. They shouldn't try to directly adapt the story of a game. They should try- You can take, like, the best elements of games, but you should never try to directly adapt the story. If you're adapting a book, that's entirely different. A book you can adapt into a film. It's been done many times with varying degrees of success, but that's still more success than video games. Video game movies, they've had two legitimately good ones. Two. And then what you got for the book to movie adaptation? You got The Lord of the Rings, which are hailed as some of the greatest films of all time. The first two Hunger Games are pretty good. The Major Hunter trilogy is really good. The Harry Potter series, again, hailed as some of the best films ever made. The Percy Jackson series, I'm a huge fan of. So, you have these great franchise, but the, of course you also have shit like Artemis Fowl, Divergent, Twilight, but even Twilight, it was still faithful to the book. It was just based on a shitty book. So the movie was going to suck regardless, unless they did something drastically different, and they didn't, which is why the movie sucked as well. So that, that, was, that was just the book's fault. And that, so video games, you can't, because books are not as long as video games, at least not many. If you want to throw in an, like, an adaptation of like Les Mis, the, the, the novel is about the size of the Bible. It's a really long book. And then it was adapted into a musical that was about three hours, give or take, with an intermission. And then it was adapted into a film that was about two and a half hours. But that was immediate, but the difference is that wasn't directly adapting the book. That was directing, that was adapting the musical. And that one, the reason that was such a clusterfuck is because it was a medium transfer from a medium transfer. And it didn't work. But these video games, you cannot adapt a video game directly unless you're going to create a new story. If you wanted to throw in some references to the games, be my guest. But never try to adapt the story beat for beat. That's where, these video, that's where a lot of these video game movies fall apart. But then the other ones is just plain old-fashioned incompetence, but it seems to happen every single time. This shouldn't be difficult. Again, just take some take some people who know how to write a good story, get a director, who's, get a competent director, and then just get these really fun characters that everybody loves and have them go to town. This isn't a difficult formula, but it seems to elude Hollywood almost every time. So, yeah, that's all, that's all I got. Are video game movies going to get any better? Probably not. They're going to keep making the same mistakes. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 looks like it's going to be repeating the mistakes of the first movie. 
it may be trying to be a bit better. It might be taking some of the criticisms a lot of people had with the first movie. Me in particular, I fucking hated the first movie, and I know I'm not alone. And I am hoping the animated Super Mario Brothers movie is good. It has a cast I really like. And I hated the original movie, and I loved the game. So, yeah, let's hope these are good. And Uncharted is probably going to get a sequel. Just make it good. So, yeah, what is your least favorite and least favorite video game movies? Put that down in the comments. My favorite is Pokemon Detective Pikachu. And my least favorite is House of the Dead. Like, that's, that's not even a contest. So, yeah, that's all I got. And just... Make better video game movies. This shouldn't be this hard.